So photographers aren't demons necessarily. They're closer to a demon than a human on the scale of human to demonhood. But that doesn't mean that we shouldn't give them nice things. When a child misbehaves, you send them for a timeout. Like, stop, Timmy, no. You've had enough, no. That's bad, go sit in the corner. Or you smack them upside the head, whatever your philosophy is on that one. Who am I to judge? That doesn't mean you take away dessert for the rest of his life. Come on now, he learned his lesson. I recently did a paid photo walk. In that video, I didn't show the people, there were hundreds of people behind the camera. I made a lot of money that day. And I tried to white balance the camera with my trusty gray card. I misplaced it. Oh, how you doing? Canon hates kittens. I tried to do a custom white balance on this thing. I heard a kitten just drop dead. He witnessed it and he was like, he couldn't take life anymore. He just stopped. I didn't even realize before I became a photographer that the Canon cripple hammer had accomplished its greatest feat known to man. The custom white balancing of a Canon camera is a sight to behold. All I want is the perfect camera. All I want is the perfect camera. So first I want to show you how a regular camera handles white balance. You press the white balance button, you search for your custom thing, you press up, then a little square comes, you press the OK, done. We moved on with our life. Perfect white balance enabled. Show it. Show the motherfucker. I white balanced in that direction, and now this direction is blue. That's artistic. The engineers over at Canon saw that, and they're like, you know what? We can make that a lot harder, I bet. And they did. Let me show you how to do it. First, we turn the camera on with our left hand for some reason. It's over here. You don't even get me started on that. And the menu button, don't even look at me right now. That thing, you're in the menu, oh, oh. Go over to this side, okay, you're in there. With your right hand, always. And then, oh, back is over here? What the, what the hell's your problem? So in Canon, we got our quick menu. You just tap on that, white balance, where are we at? Tap on that. You have the custom mode, so you're like, okay, cool. Press the info button. There's nothing to do here. There's no way to tweak it. There's no custom thing. So you're like, I couldn't find out how to do it myself. I was like, what is this? All you can do is change the greens and the blues and the reds like a loser. I had to Google shit. I watched a video, an eight minute video on how to do this. And I was, I was watching it and I was like, you can't be serious. Here's what you have to do. You first have to exit the movie mode. You're not allowed in there. You have to go back to photo mode where photographers live. Stacy. Yeah. Okay, walk towards the camera. I'm gonna film at a one of a shutter speed, but make your the pie you're holding still, completely still, so you're blurry, the pie's in sharp focus. Only you're sharp and the pie is blurry. It actually looks better this way, but I'm not allowed for artistic creativity. It's a mistake, and I'll delete it. That was the best photo I've ever taken. Why'd I delete it? Oh, God. Yes. So now that you're in loser mode, you're allowed to go into the white balance, you go to the custom one, and then you're like, wait, what do I do? You go into info, there's still nothing there. There's nothing that prompts you to the fact that you have to take an actual picture of your gray card. Oh, there it is. What the hell happened? I'm not even in movie. I'm in movie mode. Oh, I knew that. I was already in. I switched out of back into. <laughs> okay, so now I'm allowed to take a picture of the gray card. Rule of thirds. Perfect. So now you'd think, oh, go back to the white balance, custom. There's nothing there. It's not even in here. It's a completely different system. You gotta go into the menu. Menu four, custom white balance. There it is. You click in there. The only compatible image 
is here. Then you set it. Use this, wait, okay, click. It's already been 15 hours, proven by the video length. You're now allowed to switch back to video mode. And then you gotta go choose the custom thing. How many unicorns passed out watching that? Seven. Seven unicorns. That couldn't be any dumber or harder. Was there a boardroom meeting about it? To laugh at us? All right, fellows, as we all know, the three main rules of photography, rule of thirds, how expensive your camera is, and white balance, are very important to us here at Canon. We want to make people's lives easier. How can we white balance the fastest of anybody who's ever done it. Well, as a rule of thumb, the less clicks, the better. So we could probably do it in three clicks. White balance button, set, okay. How's that? We could do that. It's, it's not fun. It's not really fun. Is there like an easier but much more fun path? Well, do you want efficient or fun? I thought we were going for the fastest possible. What what are we doing? I just got so bored by your explanation that I just, I feel like we have to make it more like a maze that people can't get out of. Only a true photographer would find his way to the cheese. And then the photo is the reward. I'm just thinking you'll annoy a lot of people. I, let's just make it a couple clicks, just three clicks. We're good. Okay, you're fired. You can go pick up your severance pay down below. It'll be a deduction from your paycheck, by the way. You owe us. And I'm gonna just... Okay, here's what we're gonna do. In order to white balance a Canon camera from this day forth, you have to remove the battery, put it in backwards, switch the memory card out for a CFast card. Even though it doesn't fit, you have to drill a new hole, put it in there. Go into the menu system, delete everything, back into your default mode. You can set it up after the way you like. And then go into white balance. Okay, set the temperature you want. Delete that. And then go into movie mode. Make a short three minute movie. Boss, you've lost your mind. We will know. No. Oh, we're doing it. We'll get away with it too. We're canon. We're canon. How is it that complicated? You couldn't even design a system harder than this. And so many things just don't make sense on this camera. Admittedly, I've been giving Canon a bit of a hard time over the past couple years since the inception of my channel. But now that I have my hands on one, things are even worse than I thought. I just, I can't believe the softness I can't believe how much better this one looked in the side-by-side -side comparison. This was all like contrasty and over highlighting, over highlighting. In my GH5S, I had sharpness all the way down. Canon was like mid sharpness, the default zone. The GH5S was sharper. And this has no boundaries. The sharpness is either dull when it's off or like over sharpened smartphone footage when it's on. What is this? That was a costly throw. Will the R5 really change anything? I think Canon's philosophy is to not only hurt unicorn kittens with their white balance techniques, but they have some sort of master plan balance of dumbed down, easy to use, but then super complicated if you ever want to actually do anything. Like, oh yeah, switch to video mode. Oh, hit this, info, set, off. Correct the white balance with a twisty knob here. Why don't you have the twisty knob? The white balance knob. I invented it. I feel bad for anybody who owns this system. You were an experiment in a chemical, like a pharmaceutical. Oh, will this medication work? Oh, what are the side effects of owning this system? They're bad. They're real bad. Will you autofocus on it? Samsung is so reliable. It knows who to pick. Oh, oh no. Did it switch? Oh, no.
I set the Samsung autofocus speed to slow. cinematic as F pulls and then hopefully it won't latch on to the hands ever it did it already stop it oh boy why was I Italian I took it with my hands can you imagine owning this camera I'm lucky the camera Canada threw it at me during the apocalypse and I get to keep it forever I'm pretty sure that was the agreement the virus has said so. This lens alone costs $40,000 and it's 15 pounds for a 2.8. You get minuscule amounts of tone. We can have more tone on this. Kind of not, not at all, but still. Eh. I can't believe I was debating buying that one day. I was thinking of it when it went on sale. It was like $19.99 in Canada. I was like, hmm, full frame. Wow. I think full frame's a myth. Or Canon just does it so bad, it's not even worth looking at. I'm so lucky with the Panasonic GH5S. Ow. It's funny, the GH5S is still huge. This is the GH5S. It's almost the same size, except the lenses. Look at that. This is a 1.4. Sure, that's a zoom. That doesn't matter. Zoom lenses aren't usually bigger than primes. You don't know what you're talking about. I will admit the Panasonic S1H looked better than anything we've ever done here. And that was full frame. It did actually look a lot better than this, but not outside. The G85 with the 10 to 25 giant beast, that actually looked better. Most people are like, oh, that looks better. You can't beat that thing from 2016. What's wrong with you all? So people all excited about Canon because they're gonna have 8K as a distraction for all this shit. The white balance issues, the softness of the 1080p, the 4K crop. You're probably gonna have a crop in there. No 8-bit, 6-bit only. You know there ain't gonna be no 10-bit internal. Let's be real with ourselves. I'll do a whole video on what I think the perfect camera is and you'll be surprised. It's not all this old 6K, please. Oh, please. It's minor things that we need to improve here. I will not spoil the video, and I will just leave. It's the Samsung glory system. Appreciates our lives. I'm just gonna go. Thanks for buying a Camera Conspiracies t-shirt. What do you think, Canon? Stupid? Yes, they are. Subscribe for more videos, and we'll see you later.